Attention, the following program is black as fuck. If you find yourself getting in your feelings about folks cutting up, neo soul music, loud laughter, and profanity, this program is not for you. This ain't your mama's cooking show. Brother, shit gets lit. And on my mama, the food is fire. Thank you for watching. To another episode of Black Man Cook 2. <laughs> and then it's your boy Robbie Somali. And anything about my mom, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. And, you know, I'm Chef School, <laughs> back in the house. And we got some barbecue for you. And you know, these pizza jerks, it's Monday Night Football, but you know, we got, we're gonna show you what's on tap. So uh, <laughs> let's get it started. Pour the pot to make a rib to a sharp knife. Take that off. Pull this membrane off. You gonna know, pull this off? This shit's gonna chew as hell. It's really easy to do. All you gotta do is just basically just cut a little thing right there, and then start pulling. If you pull the whole thing off, you got a little bit more. Put that knife in there again. The most important part is always the seasoning. I'm not about to just throw some meat up in there. Plus, we got a gadget that I cut this in half. It's not gonna fit. We ain't, we ain't got no damn grill. But we do got a we do got a smokeless grill, and that whole thing wasn't gonna fit in there. So I cut it to where it could fit. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get back to this little seasoning, some little pepper. I like this New Orleans seasoning. I'm gonna have to start buying this a little more. I might make my own, I don't know, you never know. Get a barbecue rub that you like, you know. I'm gonna build that up on there. I know y'all keep saying this don't taste like nothing. It do. Garlic powder. And last but not least, brown sugar. And a nice little sweet, sweet taste of the meat. You dig? Get that good rub and get all that up in there. All that up in there. Might, if you want to, add a little bit more seasoning if you want to. All of that in there. It should be looking like this. Nice and glistening, nice and rubbed down. Then, the other side. Now normally, I wrap this up, throw it in the fridge overnight, but I was out of town, I just got back in town today. I'm just gonna let it sit in room temperature for about an hour. So that'll kind of let the seasonings and spices and sugar all kind of just marinate up in there so we can get a lot of flavor. So stay tuned. Now as you can see, as it sat for a while, if you looked at it in the beginning, you saw the stuff up there. Now you see it's kind of glistening a little moist because all the stuff was in there marinating. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this on over to the smokeless grill. It's not, it's pre, I got it preheated to about 250. So we're gonna go low and slow. So it's gonna take a while. If you got patience, do it. If you don't, still do it because if you cook it high, it's not gonna be as tender and soft and juicy and all that. It's gonna just cook fast. It's been a little over an hour and a half on one side. So now I'm gonna flip it. See, got the nice little grill marks on it. 
So we're gonna cook it on the other side for about another hour and a half, two hours. And then we're gonna come back and show you the finished product. And then Chef School got a little something for you right here. All right now? We already got the noodles working for the mac and cheese because you know every cookout needs mac and cheese. So we're doing an indoor cookout theme today. Already boiled the water, got the noodles working. Um, and I got my, my, my cheese pre-shredded. Uh, I always get the blocks and I shred it ahead of time before we start rolling. And uh, I got all my supplies ready for the mac and cheese. Also, because you, you know you saw the ribs, so we're gonna get some homemade barbecue sauce working. I'm gonna show you the easiest, quickest way to make the homemade barbecue sauce. And you guys can switch the recipe up however you want to, but this is how I make mine. We got the baked beans. Yeah, it says vegetarian. That's because it, I don't I don't like to have the pre-meat, the pre-seasoning, the syrup, the, all that shit in there. I like to do it myself. So, we're going to get this, and I'm going to show you a little later what I'm going to do to doctor this up as well. Alright, so I'm going to keep it rolling. First thing I'm going to do, now that we got the noodles boiling for the uh, mac and cheese, I'm going to get started on this barbecue sauce. Because once we get it cooked up, we're going to have to let it sit for a little bit, just so it can get nice and thick for you. Alright, so first thing, I'm making a big batch. So, like I said, I listen to the ancestors when they tell me how much to put in there. Worcestershire sauce. Pronounce it how you want to. It's a nice liquid smoke. I did the mesquite just to add a nice little smoky flavor to whatever you're doing. Some more mesquite. Seasoning, the rub. Throw that in there. Paprika, smoked paprika. Pack, look, paprika. Come on, school. English. Anyways, smoked paprika. We got onion powder. Throw that in there. Garlic powder, also straight from the stove. Let's rip this. I got some great poupon, mustard, Dijon. Take a spoon. A nice little good little spoonful of that. I'm making a big batch, so we're gonna go ahead and do two. Two spoonfuls. We got some tomato paste. I did basil, garlic, and oregano tomato paste. You can do the plain one if you want to, but this is what I'm going with today. And we're just gonna put the whole can in there. Let's put some uh, red pepper flakes, just to add a little bit of heat. Brown sugar. It ain't fully incorporated in it already. We have some honey. I love honey barbecue. Alright. And then after all that, add some cornstarch for thickening. Let's go ahead and do not not too much. I'm just using this. Alright, so about that much cornstarch. You don't need much. making a mess. <laughs> Alright, so after you get all that in there, in the pot, you want to take your whisk and just make sure that everything gets kind of boiled. And then once it starts boiling, we're going to drop it down to a low simmer so that way it can reduce. Trainer. All that in the strainer. Once our noodles get all strained out, we're gonna transfer them back to the pot. I mean, it's a pretty quick and easy thing to make mac and cheese. I promise you, not all mac and cheese is built the same. So I'm gonna show you how to make a superior mac and cheese. Transfer it back to the pot. Ignore the ones that fall away. <laughs> All right, now you start adding your other ingredients. So let's turn this down. I'm gonna throw our milk in here. Make sure the heat's on. Throw milk in there. Nice, hefty scoop of butter. Get some 
good scoop of butter, especially for the size of uh, pan we're cooking here. I got some uh, heavy cream. Just want to make sure all the rest of the ingredients are well incorporated. So I got two different types of cheese here. I'm doing a sharp cheddar and then I'm doing a mozzarella. And we already got our oven preheated too because, you know, we, we don't just make mac and cheese on the stove top and then leave it there. We uh, got to do the baked, do the baked mac and cheese. That's, that should just be a rule from now on for, for anybody who cooks mac and cheese. Do the baked mac and cheese. Ask anybody. We start incorporating this cheese. We're going to take about a handful, store it in there. Yeah. It's a process. Throw it in there, mix it through. I'm gonna alternate a little bit back and forth. So I'm gonna do some sharp cheddar, then I'm gonna do mozzarella, then we're gonna do sharp cheddar again, then we're gonna do more mozzarella. Yeah, that's the thing for these metal pans, they the handle gets a little hot, so you gotta kinda gotta make sure protect yourself at all times. This thing I love about this product is you can see, you need to see the, uh, the cheesier it gets throughout as the cheese starts to melt and get more incorporated in. But you want to start, you want to keep on stirring because you don't want anything to burn. It's important to just make sure you're always uh, mixing. Cause where the shots at? Where the red zone? No, I said it's Monday, it's Monday night. I'm sorry I ain't too attentive and talking as much as this. Let's get serious right now. I'm in the red zone. We're losing by three to these bum ass Broncos. Cheers. Transfer this uh, mac and cheese or the oven. But what I want y'all to do is come in close. So you can, so you can listen. You need to listen to the to to this is this is what you, this is what you want. That's that Megan the Stallion. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, yeah, I, that's why I imagine Megan the Stallion sound like. That's probably why she had a nasty ass song with the big little crazy on it. Barbecue sauce look good. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. That's what you want. you want. All right, I'm gonna get my oven mitts on because I'm not trying to burn my hands. Is that squared away and take our cheese. Mozzarella too. They're just gonna sit in the oven until the cheese gets nice and golden brown. We get that nice golden brown crust on top that we're looking for. And yeah, we'll check back in. Check on our barbecue sauce real quick. It's still not thick yet. It's still a little bit runny, but let's make sure we remember to taste it. So mix this in. That flavor's a little bit nice. It's a little bit too much vinegar, so what we'll do is um, I feel like it's too sweet, but also too sour at the same time. So we might need to add some salt to it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And maybe some more red pepper just to get um, get it get it right, get to the flavor that I want. And then we're also gonna let it reduce. That's the consistency that we wanted. And then uh, we'll, while it's still on the heat, and then we're gonna turn the heat off. Just let it sit there. Give it, give it about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. It'll, it'll be perfect. We're doing a fun. All right, you know what? Let me get off football. I'm sorry. We're doing bubble swings all damn day. <coughs> it was. Let me concentrate. <coughs> Where's the olive oil? This. Okay. This is optional. Some people like to do meatless beans. Some people don't. I usually do bacon. Or I'll do andouille sausage, but I got smoked sausage right now, you know. So this is optional. So what I like to do is heat up the pan, 
put a little olive oil in there. Next time I'm gonna use his, cause his shit was good, I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, we're just gonna do Sweet Baby Ray's. I hate mustard, but yellow mustard is necessary in baked beans. So, um, wash the shower, wash the shirt, W sauce, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Put that in there, brown sugar, some people use molasses and some people use honey. I like to use honey more than molasses, personally. So, we'll get your pan. Put that right there. And I'm gonna brown this up while we put all the ingredients in there. Well, not putting that one in there. So just brown the sausage a little bit. In the little thing. Grab your beans. So I like to usually drain a little bit of the juice. Not all of it, but some of it. Dump it in there. Cause I like the taste of what I'm putting in there more than the actual juice that they have. So start off. Some barbecue sauce. Some people actually use ketchup too. So either ketchup or barbecue. I like using barbecue more. Some barbecue in there. Yellow mustard. <laughs> where's your shower? Where's your shirt? What's the whatever the hell you want to call it? With some brown sugar in there. Put a decent amount of brown sugar in there. I like it really sweet. And then put some honey. I'm gonna put more in there, but give me a second. I'm gonna stir up this uh, brown this meat. Stir it up a little bit. This is almost browned enough. Perfect. Kind of how I want it. Some little charred spots, some cooked spots, and we good. Like I said, I used to use andouille or bacon. You use whatever the hell meat you want. You can use ground beef. I know people that use ground beef. I'm not really a big fan of ground beef. Bing. Throw those in there. Throw this all up in the oven with the mac and cheese. Oh, there's no rack. Let's put the rack. thing that I noticed my cousin's done, he's made a fatal mistake. He took every step in making these baked beans and he never took a shot. Oh man, well. It's, 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 it's sad, it's why. blasphemy, that's it's why. blasphemy. You hear me? Cheers. Now back to this goddamn game. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a close up of that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what we want. That's what we want for the barbecue sauce. Now, if I had a drum roll, I'd shit. crisp skin on top, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just like grandma made it. You know what I'm saying? You, know what I'm saying? you ever see you ever see the grannies that got like no elbows? That's how my granny was and she taught me how to do this. You know what I'm saying? She taught me how to make this shit. You know she put her foot in that shit and it tasted amazing. Like the, the best shit you ever had in your life. Shout out granny. You know what I mean? So we're gonna dig into the shit as soon as it cool down because you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna put your mouth on something that's boiling hot. You might fuck your shit up, but. I might miss the play, but um, these beans is done. Let's knock this out. Like I said, I like it a little, I like when the sauce is a little thicker. It's not really thick right now, but once we let it set, yeah, see, just like that. 
So we're gonna let it set for a little bit and then it's gonna get a lot thicker and then that's what I really wanted at. So at this point, we'll be back and then we're gonna cut into the ribs after that. We had time to let the meat rest a little bit while we was cooking the mac, the beans and all that. So here we go. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna cut into this, we'll cut into this meat. Ooh, you see it's cutting in real smooth like. No, just and like I said, we not even we not even on a grill. You, you can see that juice. <laughs> you can see that juice. Come on now. We ain't put the salt, no sauce, no nothing. Like, look look at the juice. Come on now. Look at the juice. right there. We don't have a smoker. First of all, in our spot, we smokeless, low and slow. Put the seasonings and rubs and shit like that on there. Go low and slow. This has been going for about almost four hours. Actually, I pulled this out. It's 8.03 on my watch. I started putting this on at 3.50 p.m. You can do the same thing. I'm telling you. All you got to do is season it right. So, hey, just wait for the taste test. I'm telling you. Y'all can't wait. Ooh, y'all ain't ready for it. Y'all ain't ready for it. And as I'm saying that, the Chargers just got a sack. On fucking Russell Wilson. So I'm ready to take a goddamn shot. Let's watch the sports. The other one doesn't. <laughs> this nigga stressed. Stress. I'm cooling. I'm cooling. And we shouldn't be tied 16-16 a bum-ass Russell Wilson. That's what's pissing me off right now. You see, we ain't got the fancy place today. What we did was we went with the the the, the, the barbecue cookout style plates. Because, you know, when you got a regular cookout outside, when it's a picnic when it's picnic time. Paper plates. You, you eating off paper plates. You ain't eating off no motherfucking fancy cutlery. Nah. Right so there. Boom. We're going to place one rib, rib on top. One rib. Two rib. Hey, but watch this. Watch this. All right. Remember the sauce that we made earlier? I know you, you never forget that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's take this, brush it, brush it. Alright, cool. You know what I'm saying? We're getting the brush strokes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of that. So, you know, we have. Honey, you want you want to check? You want to stand standing up? Yeah, he's standing. Yeah, he's doing like a real barbecue. What's up? Yeah. See what the beans looking like? Fire. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing the mac. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I only use two cheeses this time. You know what I'm saying? Two cheeses. This is hey, watch this. Go ahead. I'm gonna bite it out. Mm. Gonna get you a little napkin right there. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna get you a little napkin right there. I'm real yeah. good for not being on a grill, right? Fire. Yeah. 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 Indoor. Indoor. How Home many, meal. How many episodes are we in? Four or five? No matter. We we undefeated right now. Undefeated. All I hear is mm, mm, and people licking the face. There's, 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 there's only two three things. Fire, mm, and that's all I've heard from every single time we've done an episode. Now I'm just letting y'all know. Do what we tell you. We're going to steer you the wrong way. This has been another episode of Black Man Cook 2. You did. We out.